Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a unboxing and review for the uh, Wemo Insight Switch. And um, I already uh, have one set up, so I've, I've been using it um, for the past few days, right there. And uh, the neat part about it mm -hmm. is that it has this energy consumption statistics going on. So let's get to it. This box, by the way, I cut myself opening the other box, so be careful opening it. One, two, three, four. And here it is. Uh, in in the in the box, really, there's not much. There's um, FCC regulations. There's um, a quick install guide, which is right there. It says, plug it in, get the app, connect uh, to the Wi-Fi, and I'm going to show you. So, so this is going to go aside. All right. So this is the device. It's uh, it looks just like this. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and connect it to the power, and uh, I'm going to show you what happens. So basically, on the first time when you connect it to the, to the power, it creates a Wi-Fi network, mm -hmm. and in this case, you're going to have to go to your Wi-Fi settings, and at some point, it's going to pick up that network. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and connect to it. It's obtaining an IP address. And now it's connected. So now we can go back to the Wemo app. And it automatically knows that you're connected to a device. And what it's going to do, it's going to configure it to use your own Wi-Fi network. That's of course if the app works. I did find the app to be on the uh, buggy side. There we go. All right, so now it's all set. We can uh, change the name. I'm going to call it Wemo Insight 2. And I'm going to click Done. Now it disconnected from the Wi-Fi network that it created and rejoined my network. So now we have three of them right here. So let me show you how it works as far as turning it on and off. Basically cl clicking on it, it's pretty much instant. And there's, because I, I had to update the firmware for the other one. So this uh, is uh, noticing that this one has an old firmware. So it's going to ask it to update. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the update. If it's going to take too long, I'm going to skip ahead with the video. So you can see that right now it's doing a firmware upgrade. And it's independent from the app. So I could get out of the app and do whatever I want and when it's finished uh, I could continue uh, working on it. It did take uh, quite a few minutes the last time so uh, I thought they were kidding where I 
they they were saying that it could take up to 10 minutes but it did take a long time all right so while it's doing the upgrade let me show you the uh, device up close the nice thing about this is that it's rated at 15 amps which means that it could run the highest capacity device you can find in a consumer home also I, I wanted to mention that this top area while it also serves as a um, as a status uh, of uh, the Wi-Fi connection the signals and if it's turned on and off it's also uh, turn it's an on and off button if you click on it it turns it on and off and it's some sort of cap capacitive type button so you have the clock here if I'm skipping ahead you can tell how many minutes has have passed hooray it's complete okay so so now we have the three of them all right so uh, let me show you some stuff so this is the control panel this is the one I just installed now this one is the one I had and right now this little dot here actually shows if something is connected to it so for example um, right now something is connected to it to the the first insight and it's drawing out power that's why it's green and right now it's drawing 1341 watts it's a heater and it shows you the average and what is the estimated monthly uh, cost based on your location I'm not sure I couldn't find a place where you could actually tell it how much a kilowatt cost kilowatt hour cost uh, uh, in your location so I guess they're using some sort of uh, average or maybe also they're using your location because uh, there is a spot here to give your location it also tells you uh, the average time that the device has been working and uh, you know what would be interesting uh, it would be interesting to find out where you can reset these statistics because right now I don't know where uh, I could uh, reset these statistics so let me go ahead and turn off my heater okay as you can see the wattage is dropping should be instant but I guess it uh, it's one of those things that takes it a while to uh, settle so right now it tells us that it was last on for 16 minutes. It's in standby since 1031. Now the nice thing about this device is that you can set up a rule where it's going to notify you when a device is not drawing up any more power. And this is great if you connect it say to a washing machine so let me demonstrate that you go into rules and uh, let's uh, create a rule and as you can see they added I notify me of power use so we'll click on power use and I'm going to do that if Wemo Insight power is off uh, for now let's do it uh, sensing all all day and uh, message me something the wash cycle is done save it and notify me how often notify me every time um, I guess we can
no more than once a day. And we're going to save this. All right, so let me turn it on. As I turned off the device, and it should notify us at some point. Uh, so now it it notified it. It took it took a. Uh, a little time to settle. All right, so let, let me redo this because um, and as you can see when when something is not used the uh, little icons here uh, turn into orange so there's something connected but it's not turned on so let me turn on the device again and yeah, I got the remote for the I noticed that this doesn't update as often as it should. It could right now it should be green. So the app definitely needs work. It's kind of clunky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so as you can see, the one that I turned on, the heater, is now showing green because it's being used. And this one is the Insight 2. It's not being used, it's not drawing any power. It shows that orange. I wonder why they used the, the orange. But. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's working now. I'm going to get out of this app. I'm going to turn off the heater. And uh, this is going to simulate the washer ending. Okay. So hopefully in a few seconds, we're going to get a notification here that the cycle was done. And unfortunately, Wemo has stopped working. And I have a feeling it's because it's tried to do the notification. I'm going to report this. So we didn't get the notification because it crashed. So, uh, all right, so let me sum it up. I think the uh, portion of the statistics and the, the wattage consumage it works pretty well. It shows it right here. It shows an average for the time that it's been working. They really should improve this a little. And I think the box should come with more instructions because this is quite a complicated device. On the top, for example, there's a reset button. So if you press this reset button, this goes into your default setting. You would have to reset everything. There is no mention what this micro USB port, and I'm assuming the micro USB port does to this device. It's possibly just for their uh, usage uh, to program it when it comes out of the factory. But I think it's a really nice, attractive device. I can see a lot, a lot of uses for it, especially bundled with all the other complementary uh, devices that they have, like the motion sensing and um, the only thing that's kind of preventing it from being astounding is the app. They need to work on the app and make it sh make sure that it just works flawlessly. The other thing that I wanted to show you and I'm not going to dive into 
is the idea that you connect, can connect these to IFTTT, uh, which is if this and this, then do that. And there's a whole web interface. You go, you go to this website, which is actually a third-party website, and you can tell it, well, if it's raining today, turn this switch on. Or if um, you receive a text, turn this um, device on. So there's so many recipes out there that you can do. If this happens, then do that. Check it out. It's pretty cool. All right, so if you have any questions, any comments, I know there's probably a lot of stuff that I might have not covered, but I will try to do a follow-up video if needed. And if not, I'm just going to reply in the comment box uh, to your questions. Please, please, thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time.